hypotenuse of a right angled triangle is six more six meters more than twice of the shortest side. If the third side is two meters less than the hypotenuse, find the sides of the triangle. Okay, so and let us draw a right angle triangle first. Let us name it ABC and uh, hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is six meters more than twice the shortest side. Okay, so if we take the shortest side as AB, let shortest side be AB and it will let it be X. Okay, so what will be the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse is six more than twice the shortest side. So hypotenuse will be equal to six more. Okay, six more means plus six then twice the shortest side shortest side is x twice will be 2x so hypotenuse is 2x plus 6 so this is 2x plus 6 if the third side that means this bc is 2 meters less than the hypotenuse hypotenuse now is 2x plus 6 right so bc will be equal to 2x plus 6 but it is 2 less that means minus 2 so 2x plus 6 minus 2 will give us 2x plus 4. So this is 2x plus 4. We should find the sides of the triangle. If we, if we can find the value of x and substitute it here, we'll get all three sides, right? So apply Pythagoras theorem here because we, it is a right angle triangle. So 2x plus 6 whole square, hypotenuse square will be equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides, right? x square plus 2x plus 4 whole square okay now use a plus b whole square formula here a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square is equal to this is x square plus use a plus b whole square formula again here a square plus 2 into a into b plus b square all right hmm. let us simplify this this is 4x square plus 2 2 is a 4, 4 6 is a 24x plus 6 square is 36 is equal to x square plus this is 4x square plus 2 2 is a 4, 4 4 is a 16, 16x plus 4 square is 16. So 4x square here, 4x square here will get cancelled right? and uh, let us take these two sides on the other, these two terms on the other side. 0 will be equal to x square plus 16x plus 16 minus 24x minus 36. So 0 is equal to x square plus 16 minus 24 will give us minus 8x and plus 16 minus 36 will give us minus 20. So we have x square minus 8x minus 20 is equal to 0. Alright. So we got quadratic equation now. Right? Let us simplify this equation. Uh, the factors of 20 are 10 and 2, right? So how can we write 10 and 2 to get minus 8, minus 10, plus 2? Alright, so we have x square minus 10x plus 2x minus 20 is equal to 0. We are factorizing or splitting the middle term, right? So from these two terms, take x common, x minus 10. From these two terms also, we can take x minus 10 from these two terms you can take two common right so this is plus and this is x minus 10 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 x minus 10 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0 x is minus 2 and x is 10 x is side right a b is x so x cannot be negative so let us take x is equal to 10 okay so we have a b a b is was equal to x right so a b is equal to how much 10 b c was equal to 2 x plus 4 so it will be 2 into 10 plus uh, 4 okay so this will be 24 b c is 24 now a c 2 x plus 6 a c was 2 x plus 6 hypotenuse so it is 2 into 10 plus 6 so it is 26 okay so 26, 24 and 10 
are the sides okay 